A woman many of you know from her decades of anchoring local news says she is considering a run for mayor of Spokane. Former KXLY4 news anchor Nadine Woodward tells us she hasn't made the decision yet, but it is an option. She retired from news last week. Thanks for staying with KXLY. I'm Aaron Luna. That news comes just hours before City Council President Ben Stucker kicks off his campaign to be mayor. KXLY4's Ariana Lake is at his kickoff party now, which starts in about a half an hour at the McGinty Room in downtown Spokane. Ariana? Now that's why we're outside. They're still getting set up inside. Now, Ben Stucker was the first person to announce he was running for mayor back last year. And tonight, we should be hearing more about his promises if voters are to elect him. Now, he is currently serving as the council's president. Uh, for Spokane City Council. This is the last year of his second term. It's during that time he's helped push through limiting U.S. Border Patrol operations at Spokane's Intermodal Center, and he supported the city's commitment to exclusively using renewable energy. He has a long list of policy goals on his campaign website, including investing more time and resources in long-term city planning, establishing a trust to develop more low-income housing, and identifying ways to reduce waste and increase recycling. He's part of a long list of candidates of for mayor. And when I asked him for his reaction to news that Nadine Woodward may join the pool of candidates one day, he said, quote, he looks forward to discussing the issues and our vision for the city with all six of the declared candidates. Now, that list includes a uh, longtime firefighter and a leader of a local neighborhood council. And Aaron, you actually have more on the extensive list of candidates for mayor. So we'll turn it back over to you. Thank you, Ariana. As Ariana was saying, so far those declared candidates are City Council President Ben Stuckert, Firefighter Sean Poole, West Central Neighborhood Council Member Kelly Cruz, Chris Scholl, Jonathan Bingle, Jason Dixon, and Andrew Rathbun. We'll keep you updated when a decision from Woodward is made.